I'm gonna tell you the most important things that you need to keep in mind for growing your YouTube channel this year that nobody else is talking about. And look, if you're serious about getting results here on YouTube this year, make sure you watch the entire video because if you don't watch the entire video, you clearly don't wanna get results because I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to know. And we're starting right now. This is how we do. The very first thing that you need to make sure that you do is own your results. Yes, YouTube notification system sucks. Yes, YouTube monetization is not what a lot of people would like it to be right now. And yes, YouTube is hard, but all of that is completely 100% out of your control. So own your results and focus on what you can control. Tons of content creators last year crushed it the entire year because instead of getting caught up in all of these things that don't really matter, they were focused on crushing it. They were not focused on YouTube's imperfections. They were not caught up in the drama. They were focused on the results. They were focused on taking personal responsibility for what was happening with their content. And this year, you can do the same exact thing. Number two, a dream without a plan is just a dream. A dream with a date attached to it, an actual completion date, that's a goal. And every single day when you work towards a goal, that's what actually turns that dream into reality. So if you're wanting to be a full-time YouTube creator or just somebody that uploads here a lot and gets something out of the platform in return, set goals and work towards them every single day. Even if that just means today, I'm just gonna come up with a video idea. Work towards it every single day. And look, it doesn't matter if your goal is a sub count, if it's a view count, if it is an audience retention percentage, if it's traffic sent off to your website somewhere, if it's the amount of money that you're making from your YouTube channel, whatever it is, work towards it every single day. Set the goal and work towards that goal over the course of this next year. Make it happen. Again, own your results. Number three, utilize all of YouTube's discovery features. Regardless of of what anybody tells you, getting views on YouTube is more than just getting your videos ranked in search. Here's what I mean. YouTube search is just one discovery system. You still have all of the other discovery systems that they have. So what you should do is yes, you absolutely wanna tap into search because that's one of the discovery systems, but you also want to experiment sometimes. Every now and then take a risk and put together a title and a thumbnail that would make somebody wanna click on it if they were to see it on their homepage or if they saw it in a recommendation feature to where they would want to click on it there as well. Those are the two biggest traffic sources on YouTube. Those are the ones that can take a channel from hardly any traffic at all to just exploding over the course of a week. Search, unless you happen to nail a trend where people are just flooding into YouTube looking for that particular thing via search, it's just not going to do it for you that quickly. Whereas search is more of a long game, so you definitely want to include it. However, those other things are things that you definitely want to throw videos at from time to time time just to see if you have what it takes to make that title, to make that thumbnail that makes people want to click on it. And speaking of tapping into YouTube's discovery features, make sure that you're also using collaborations as well, because that's another way that you can get discovered. That's another way that you can get more views on your videos, more people coming to your channel is working with other content creators. Look, in my opinion, content creators, YouTubers, people that are making videos and just creative people in general, like they're the coolest people on the planet, in my opinion. So reach out to people, try to work with other content creators. They can be bigger, they can be smaller, they can be the same size as you, whatever. Just reach out and try to build those relationships, try to get videos on their channels, put their videos on your channels and so on. Work on stuff together so that you can also tap into that traffic source and you'll probably make some friends along the way. Number four, take 20 minutes and optimize your channel page. Look, when people get your channel page, you want to give them a presentation that's your storefront. Make it clear in your channel art what is actually happening on your YouTube channel in terms of saying, this is what I do on my YouTube. YouTube channel, add playlist sections to your channel page where you organize your content in a way on your channel page to where you're actually showing people a presentation of all the different types of content that you do. Fill out your about me page so that you can let people know what's going on with your channel, who you are, what it is that's going on, maybe even your update schedule. The idea is to make your channel something presentable. Make it to where if somebody lands on your channel page, it's clear what it is that you're offering so they can make those choices on if they wanna look for more of your content or not. All of these little details matter and they're gonna matter even 
even more this year. Number five, once you get through the stuff that we've talked about so far, make sure that you put all of your efforts on making clickable thumbnails using your click-through rate data that you can get inside of your YouTube analytics and make sure that you focus all of your efforts as well on your audience retention. These are the biggest, most important things combined with your title that make everything work to your advantage on YouTube. If you get people clicking on your thumbnails a lot and you get people watching your videos for longer periods of time, YouTube likes that. They're going to promote your videos more because people are responding to your content. YouTube is a responsive system. Never forget it with every single video that you upload, every thumbnail that you make, think in your head, YouTube is responsive. How can I make this where people are gonna respond to it? The thumbnail title and audience retention is really the magic key that unlocks all the wonderful things that most people are wanting here on YouTube. Number six, don't waste your time getting caught up in YouTube negativity. It's not gonna do any good, it's not gonna help. Every now and then I get caught up in this as well and it doesn't help anything. All it does is it distracts me from my goals, it distracts me from adding value to you through the content that I'm putting out, and it gets me focused on all of the wrong stuff. It doesn't do any good. If you focus everything on the content that you're putting out and the things that you can control, that is where you're gonna get the best results. Anytime that you are on a website or you're on Facebook or you're on Twitter and you see somebody complaining about YouTube, what you should do is you should stop for a second and say, okay, while they're complaining about this, what I'm gonna do is instead of getting caught up in this whole thing, I'm actually going to go into my stats and I'm gonna see if I can find a place to make an improvement. Or I'm gonna work on another video because that is something that I can control. Because look, you can complain all that you want. You can blame your success or lack of success on YouTube. Or you can say, look, these are the things that I know for a fact. If I get these things together, then my channel is going to progress. If I don't get these things together, then my channel isn't gonna go anywhere. And that's my fault. That doesn't have anything to do with the YouTube algorithm. It means that if my channel is not performing well, it means that I'm not doing the stuff that I need to be doing in order to make that happen. Again, take ownership of your results. Number seven, respect your viewers enough to add value to them, to add real value. Look, there's a big exchange that takes place when people come and they watch your YouTube videos. They are spending their time, which is the only real asset that we have, they're spending their time in exchange to watch your content. Make it worth it for people that are watching your videos, make it worth it for them. The more that you do this, the more that you add value and you think of what it is that you can do to make your content and the experience better for the people that are watching your videos, the better you're gonna do on YouTube. And you can find out about the value that you're adding to your viewers on if they are getting anything out of it by looking at how many people are subscribing to your channel for the views that you're getting, looking at how many people are adding your content to playlists or sharing your videos, look at your audience retention, see how long people are watching. All of those things are indicators to how people are responding to your content and the value that they are getting out of it. Number eight. If you suck at any part of this entire process, if it's your presentation, if it's making thumbnails, if it's writing titles, if it is editing anything, if you suck at any part of it, watch as many videos as you have to, practice as much as you have to, call in as much help as you have to, talk to as many people as you have to in order to make it better so that you can compete. Some of the most talented people in the world in design and presentation and editing, all of that stuff, some of the most talented people in the world are on YouTube and you're competing with these people. So in order to be able to compete at all, you got to level up your skill set. So if you suck at anything in the process, even looking at your analytics, if you look at your analytics and you're like, gosh, I don't even know what any of this stuff is, watch as many videos as you have to in order to figure it out. Again, you have to take that ownership for your own results because if you don't figure it out, if you don't learn how to make better thumbnails, if you don't learn how to edit your videos better, if you don't learn how to present better, then what's going to happen is you're not going to end up getting the results. So you have to take away that limitation and focus on doing whatever it is that you have to do in order to learn how to get your skills to the right place to where you can compete. Number nine, watch every competitor that's getting better results than you. And what I mean by that is don't just watch your competitors. I'm talking watch every single video that they put out, every single video that they've put out. Watch your competitors. If they're getting better results than you, there's a reason they're getting better results than you. And the reason that you should watch their videos is so that you can try to figure out why it is that they're getting better results. Are they editing better? Do they write titles better? Are they writing trends? Is it the specific topics that they're talking about that people are interested in? What are they doing in their videos to get people involved in what it is that they're doing? Watch your competition so that you can figure some of this stuff out because you might notice something your competition is doing to where you say, wow, I never even thought of doing that. 
and then you apply it and then it starts making huge differences in what it is that you are doing. Number 10 is focus your content. A lot of people just wanna do whatever it is that they wanna do on YouTube and they expect it to work, but in this day and age, if that's your approach, you're gonna have a more difficult time. However, if you focus on one type of content, one genre of content to serve a specific audience, well, it's gonna be easier for you. Look, I'm gonna be real with you here. There are tons of people that have been on YouTube for years and they're not getting any results and they're banging their head against the wall and they're saying, why am I not getting results? Why is this not working for me? It's because they are expecting YouTube to work the way that they want it to work. They just wanna do whatever they want and they want YouTube to work the way that they think it should work, but it doesn't work that way. There's the way that we all want things to be, and then there's the way that things actually are. So if you want to get results, you have to focus on the way that things actually are, the way that things currently work on the platform. The things that are proven time and time again to work. YouTube is a tool. If used properly, YouTube can help you reach almost any goal that you're trying to reach. But it's up to you, and I believe that you can do it, but you have to take ownership of this thing this year. You have to make it work for you this year if YouTube is something that you really wanna do. Or if YouTube is a tool that you really wanna use for your personal benefit or for your business or whatever, then you have to dial this stuff in. So I'm gonna put a link to a video right up here I want you to check out. It's a link to my brother's video on the same exact topic. It's his take on things that you can do to grow your channel this year. And if you haven't yet, and you really want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.